Hi everybody, my name is Marco and today I wanted to go over how to use Visual Studio Code to uh, code Python and then be able to flash it onto a BBC uh, micro bit. So uh, what I mean by Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Code is a uh, it's a code editor that's very powerful, it has this thing called IntelliSense which is right here there's a good screenshot of IntelliSense. It, whenever you're coding it it tries to auto-complete what you're trying to code, essentially. Uh, and then it's a good way of debugging code, but this is more of an advanced feature. Git, also a more advanced feature. And then extensions, and this is where it gets really powerful. Because at first, Visual Studio Code without extensions, it's a basic code editor. You know, you can just write words and stuff. But with extensions, uh, it becomes smarter. And it's, I mean, uh, if you're just getting into coding, um, and you end up liking coding, like Visual Studio Code is the best tool uh, in the market that you can use to code stuff, uh, in my opinion. I've used it for a long time. Uh, I'm in love. I love the extensions. I love the customizability. Uh, it's just the best out there. It might be hard to grasp at the start, but hopefully I'll clear that up. So uh, yeah, just download your version, you know, Windows, Linux, Mac, and so let me open it up here. So here we go. So this is Visual Studio Code right here. Uh, basically, it'll open up just like this. It'll tell you if you want to open some recent stuff, you need help, our new file, open folder, open workspace, uh, and then ways to customize it. And so I've already customized it. Um, so you should see everything up to this last thing. So like I have a Spotify extension so I can I can play my music, I can skip along um, or it'll open the Spotify app and then I have a platform IO which is like a um, it's an extension that you can use to code um, for uh, microcontrollers it's it's beyond the scope of this video um, and then this is just something um, for 3d printers uh, so yeah uh, let me show you a brief overview. So right here on the top left, you got your Explorer. So this is how you deal with open folders and files that you're dealing with. It'll all be organized here on the left side. Uh, I'll explain a bit later with the working example. Uh, here you can search through um, a certain keyword and then find it in all your files. Um, and then Git, this is the source control. This is more of an advanced thing. Um, if you already have experience with Git, um, honestly, if you have experience with Git, you've probably heard of Visual Studio Code or are using it already. Uh, but maybe later on in the future. But there's plenty of videos on how to use Git. Um, debug, more of an advanced feature. And then here, this is where it gets interesting with the extensions. So as you can see, I have like a bunch of extensions already downloaded. So this is just adding functionality uh, to Visual Studio Code. So like here, I have an Excel viewer. Um, Let's see what else is pretty cool that I have. I have a Markdown viewer. Um, and then here's the extension that we're going to use later on. Um, here's the theme that I like using. Um, maybe I'll elaborate on the theme a bit later. Uh, so, and then you can here see the uh, Visual, the Spotify uh, extension. And then uh, when you open your extensions, it'll always recommend like some other stuff that you want. Uh, but for starters, um, for the micro bit, uh, you're going to need to download this, the Joseph Ferguson uh, micro bit extension. It just makes it really easy to flash your code. Um, so there is this other way, right? So there is this micro bit website here. And with the website, you can type your code out and then you can download it. After you download it, you have to you know, click and drag. So I'll show you. I'm downloading it and then I can go to downloads and then here's my hex I have to plug in my micro bit so I'm plugging it in right now should show up in a second yeah so it's right here and then I can you know control C copy and then paste it and then it's doing this thing 
right, and it's done. And then now your uh, micro bit should be flashing, or is flashed, and then it'll uh, show that uh, the code here. So basically, it spits out hello world, and then it shows a picture of a heart, and then it waits two seconds, uh, or 2,000 milliseconds, and then it does the same thing all over again forever. Uh, personally, I think that's a hassle. Um, after a while, it just it it becomes tedious. Um, I don't like doing it like that, and so I prefer Visual Studio Code, and uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, so, so there's two features that it, this extension does. It uses IntelliSense, so it gives you a way um, to read out uh, code as you're typing it. Like, um, like what's going to go inside the sh display show, right? It shows the arguments of the display show. And then you can build stuff, so using the command palette, or you click on the uh, top right. And so for this, we're going to use new flash. If you want to fetch, so there is an option to fetch. You can uh, download Git onto your laptop. Okay, so for starters, uh, let's go and open terminal. So what I like doing is the open the command palette. So the command palette is under view, and then it's right there, command palette. So it should be command shift P for Windows. It's probably control shift P, but don't quote me on that. Um, and so this is just like a powerful way uh, to do whatever you want. Right. So I'll type in terminal, and I can view integrated terminal, or open, not new external. Um, you know, just that view target uh, toggled toggle integrated terminal or there should be an option in the top left where it says terminal and then just type in new terminal so I'll press enter and so now it opens up my terminal down here and now the command that I want so I need u flash so I just just do this just in case because uh, I've noticed that this uh, extension doesn't really automatically download uFlash for you. So the command's pretty simple. So I'll do Python 3. That's basically the command to open up and tell the computer, oh, we're doing Python 3 stuff. Dash M is basically a, um, uh, let me show you. So dash M is a command that you use to tell, so it's right here, dash M mod or module. Run library module as a script, terminates option list. Uh, so it's basically just telling Python uh, we're going to run some type of module. Module being this command, pip. So pip is the package manager for Python. It downloads uh, packages. So like if you've ever used NumPy, uh, uh, mat, plotlib, uh, pandas, like there's so many uh, libraries and, and modules out there. So it just adds functionality to Python. So there's pip, and then we'll type in the next command, install, and make it uflash. So python3 dash m pip install uflash. Press enter. Uh, I already have it installed on my laptop. Uh, for you, it might, uh, you'll see like some type of, um, uh, like a, a loading circle or a bar that's going to get filled up, right? It's, you'll see it you know, do some stuff. It'll be downloading. And then once it's done, you'll see this um, telling you to import the next command, right? And, oh, uh, I forgot to mention this. Uh, when you open up your terminal, um, don't worry if it doesn't say zish. Um, I mean, that's how I pronounce it. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. Uh, but for Max, to say zish or bash, maybe dash. If you're Windows, it'll say PowerShell or shell. Um, if it's Linux, I mean, it, it can be any number of things. Uh, most commonly, bash, zish, dash. Oh, there's so many out there. Um, it'll say something weird. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that. All right, so then we're done with that. All right, I'm going to close this out. All right. Uh, and so what I want you now is uh, there will be a link in the description to download a folder that has like a bunch of uh, 
microbit stuff. It's called microbot. So just download that folder and it'll have um, uh, a bunch of extra stuff. So uh, here I'm going to open it. So open. So I have it within my GitHub folder and microbot. So open that up. And so now I have my, um, uh, this is what the Explorer looks like. Oh, this thing at the bottom right. Um, if I was you, I would just do yes and reload. I personally, I don't know if, how that interferes with my extensions, but if you're new, just say yes and reload. All right, so here we go. So this is a folder that has um, uh, a bunch of stuff. So this is the latest. Um, this is the latest uh, um, firmware, uh, two point or two five three, right? If I go to Microbit and I go to Details, uh, right there, two five three. So if you had anything before zero two five three, uh, here's that firmware. Uh, just uh, actually, if you go on the uh, Microbit website. microbit.org um, if you didn't know that's what the microbit looks like so I'll go to get started right, here we go firmware yeah I would just follow these instructions um, if you notice it isn't up to date and then you can download it here if you want um, yeah if you want I'll, I'll include this in the description it's just always good to have your uh, hardware on the latest firmware All right, uh, back to here right um, and then this is just like a, a lecture that I wrote down um, yeah, so this is just, uh, you can read through this. It, I basically try to describe the, um, you know, what the, uh, the microbot from SparkFun is, how that relates to robotics and how it's a good learning tool. And like, I try to explain the beginnings and how stuff works, sort of. Yeah, so you can read through that. I'll make another video describing that. But for here, um, yeah, you'll see that there's like a Python file, so it's not completed. Uh, this is just something that you have to make work in order to uh, have the micro bit run on the microbot using Python. All right, so I'm gonna open up a new file here, and I'm just gonna save it, and I'll make it the test.py. All right, so now I got a new file here, um, and then this is the source control. Uh, don't worry about that. All right, so, and then you can see right here on the top right, you can build file to microbit. So once we have some code, if we saved it, we can do click this and it will flash our code onto the microbit. So instead of going online, downloading it, and then clicking and dragging onto our uh, microbit, I can just use this button on the top right. Or I can do Command Shift P and then you know, type out build and then press enter. Either or. All right. So let's start here. So I'm gonna do from micro bit import, and so now it's telling me a lot of stuff I can import. I'm going to do display just for this example, and I'll do image. And for this example, I'll do display. Dot, and so now there's, uh, this is what I mean by IntelliSense. Once I type display dot, right, it shows me all the methods within the when, within display. And I'll do display show. And if I get confused, you know, I could hover my mouse over and it tells me what the show does. So I can read out. 
show the image use either show image shows the image on the display or show value delay um, some extra parameter weight loop clear where fields marked with a uh, you know less than greater than are optional if value is a string float or integer display letters digits in sequence otherwise if value is an iterable sequence of images display these images in sequence each letter digit or image is shown with a delay with delay milliseconds between them if weight is true this function will block until the animation is finished otherwise the animation will happen in the background if loop is true the animation will repeat forever if clear is true the display will be cleared after the interval has finished note that the weight loop and clear arguments must be specified using the keyword so it's just you know tries to explain what you're uh, doing and so here I'm going to do image, if I can spell, a dot, and I'll do happy. So that should be a happy face. And I'll do, yeah, I'll leave it at that. And then I'll save, All right? And then click this. And then now you should see your micro bit flashing erratically, which is just flashing a lot. It's uh, the micro bit's way of telling you, oh, stuff's happening. And then it'll, uh, the orange light on the back, it should stop flashing as fast and just sort of like stay on and maybe flash a couple times. And then you should see a smiley face now. And it'll stay there forever. So this is just a good example just to, you know, show that uh, this extension is working. If it's not working, um, you know, just leave me a comment below. And if you want to learn more about the uh, Python on the micro bit, uh, there's this documentation page. And it shows you a lot of uh, modules within the, the micro bit um, library. So there's tutorials, so hello world, images, buttons. Uh, you can code a bunch of stuff. Uh, I mean, you can make your own images. Um, yeah, this is a bunch of stuff, but um, hopefully I got you guys started. Uh, you know how to, uh, you know, get uh, to coding uh, on Visual City Code. And hopefully you uh, you find this easier to work with than uh, you know, this online thing. Right? Yeah, if you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, until then, uh, have fun.